Simgigit, Sigatamanak, Gubu Wiltsuk, chiefs, matriarchs, elected officials. I want to acknowledge that we're gathering on the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. And uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to uh, pay tribute to someone that just means the world to me. And, you know, I have to share with you, I was with the child and youth officer and we were waiting for the new baby to be born, right? The Hughes review was done. Who's going to be the new representative? Who's going to be the new representative? Who's coming? And we were so excited to know that it was going to be Mary Ellen Trapel Lafond. This fierce, kick-ass mother ranked Time Magazine's uh, top 100 visionaries in the country, in the world actually. Read about her and her work with Ovid Macready when I studied at Native Ed. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I was a kid in care and so were my brothers. So the opportunity to work with someone like Mary Ellen Chappelle LaFond um, is just truly a gift from the creator. And I just want to share that, like all of you, Mary Ellen is a gift from the creator. Um, she opened us her home up to our staff back in the day when we had our first Christmas parties. Not only does this woman know how to raise four beautiful children, two of which are here today, right, two? Two of which are here today. She knows how to play the piano. She knows how to cook. She has a tugboat. Can, <laughs> you know, I'm not here to talk to you about the reports. It's about how she's impacted people's lives. And I just want to acknowledge her team. Um, if any of you are here from the Representative for Children and Youth to stand, because you're a part of that journey. I don't know if you want to stand to be acknowledged. They say it takes a community to raise a child. Well, it takes a team to put up with Mary Ellen. <laughs> now, it's not all going to be love in this conversation. Mary Ellen taught me not um, just about having an unflinching, unapologetic um, fortitude to fight for kids, kids that need someone to have their back, and you did that for 10 and thank you for everything that you did. And, and this province is better off because of it. Um, for challenging on the tuition waiver. She did drop an F-bomb, I might add, in that crowd. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, okay? But she paved the way with courage and generosity. And those reports, as Mary acknowledged, there's a lot of texts that go on in the middle of the night, and this lady will stay up late and get up early and get the job done because what's at stake is all about the kids. Um, so I'll leave it on a note that, you know, Mary Ellen would say at the office, like, I want to promote the most women to go on paternity, maternity leave. She wants the most babies born out of this office that she was so, so proud to uplift, uh, especially First Nations leaders. And with all due respect, I didn't grow up seeing a lot of people in my time, especially in my history books, that were like Mary Ellen. What Native people see is people in the soup line or at homeless kitchens. We never see the role models. So thank you for being a role model for Indigenous women and kids and everyone else. And I'm sorry I'm crying so much, but I just, in addition to my mom and my aunts, you're like the most amazing woman in my life. So thank you for everything and how <laughs> I...